Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right. This is your daily tarot reading. This is about new beginnings. Let's have a look for you, my loves. Tell me about your new beginnings. New beginnings for me. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. If it does resonate with you, there will be an extended. The link is in the description box below. Several links. New beginnings for you, my love. One more, all right. So the overall vibe of the reading is the end of a relationship, the end of something anyway. Ten of cups in reverse, just so you can see it. So your feelings are, couldn't make it work, no matter how you tried. What you don't know right now that might help you. Four of Swords, that's about contemplation and maybe meditation, taking a step back and having a breather. What can you do? Eight of Swords. In the near future, Queen of Wands, nice. The outcome. Five of Swords. And your new beginning, I guess. When is it going to happen? Let's have a timing card. When's your new beginning coming for you? Cups is a tough one for me because uh, cups for me means days, but only if it's next to a pentacle. Clarify the uh, nine of cups, please, for timing. It's, not, it's next to a cup. Same mind your business. All right. So the overall vibe, we've got the ten of cups in reverse. This is like... Um, your values and everything that you know you held close together in the beginning of your relationship um kind of weren't really in alignment anymore um the ten of cups can be in reverse can be about you know a broken home uh, the end of a marriage the end of a relationship um your feelings are the two of pentacles in reverse it's like you just couldn't balance it you couldn't keep the plate spinning you know you couldn't couldn't keep it couldn't keep it going if it's 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 only you going for it it's only you spinning plates you know <laughs> so many plates to spin and you're the only one doing it just couldn't keep it going so let's have a look what you don't know why is the four of swords here Time to recuperate, if you will. I think in this time that you're taking, or the time that they are taking, take this how it resonates. And this time, I, I'm gonna say a separation is happening here. 
and that for one of you there's hopes that you can hold on to it that you can get it back to what it was uh four of pentacles here the um hierophant but uh It seems like you've got stuck in a different place from where you were, from where you want it to be. This is what you don't know, so I'm kind of guessing it's them. I've been having some time out. I, I kind of get a feeling that the end of this it's like you know you don't freak out when I say this you know like you know, let's say don't take this to heart right but Nobody's dying here, all right? This is not really about somebody dying. But you know when somebody is dying and you're sort of like, well, you know, we're all expecting it. And then when they do, you're still like, oh my God, they died. This is sort of the same kind of thing. It's like this relationship's dying. It's done. You're in separation now, but it's just a separation. We were on a break, you know? And then when it does end, it's like, whoa, <laughs> was not expecting that. Yeah, but you were on a break. I know, but still, it's 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 a surprise. I thought we were going to kind of try and make it work. I think any talk of trying to make it work on their part is... It's all talk. I don't think their heart's in it. Or maybe it's the other way around and your heart's not in it. What should you do about it? We've got the ace, ace of... Oh, I can't. It's not an ace. It's an eight of swords. This is about... This is a prison of your own making. You can free yourself from this. So, you know, any thoughts of you guys getting back together and making this work? That's, you know, you're fooling yourself. You don't have to torture yourself like this. Clarify for me, please. An old friend of mine, an old boyfriend of mine, actually, um, I spoke to him when uh, when I got divorced. He was uh, he was my one that got away, and we spoke, and and uh, I'm glad we did because he ended up not being the one that got away. I don't have one of those now. It sort of cleared the air. Uh, nothing happened between us. I haven't seen him for you know, twenty something years, but um, the conversation kind of freed me from that one that got away energy but also something that he said to me uh, was really helpful he said to me now that you now that you know you've had your heart broken yeah but now you've got options whereas you didn't have them before you just kind of you were uh, you know in this relationship and uh you know, you didn't realise that they weren't in it too. Now that you're out of it, you have options. They were just kind of taking their options, but you have options now. And this is what you're perhaps not realising is that that's what you've got too. It wasn't working out for you. And holding on to something that isn't working isn't good for you. 
and you can free yourself from that energy when you realize you've got options and if you hold on to something that's not good for you you're just going to keep going around in very unhelpful painful circles and any sort of illusions that you have of it working out that's all they are illusions now that you're free you've got options any options that you want because they're your options you don't have to weigh them up against anyone else you know it's it's all down to you what you do where you go who you see so in the near future we've got the queen of wands She's a sexy, vibrant lady. You know, I, I'm, I'm one of those readers, I can't have the cards facing out like that way when I shuffle. I have to have them facing that way when I shuffle. It's just the way I am. I'm a weirdo about it. <laughs> I can see them. I don't want to see them. I can't see them this way. All right. Why is the Queen of Wands here for the near future? part of your options uh queen of wands yeah she's a sexy exuberant lady vibrant um creative these are your options you know whereas you didn't have them before ah, what do you want that is the question and that's you know all these options that are coming your way i think it could be a little bit confusing you know you want to build something you know a new beginning a new uh a new foundation for yourself you want to build something where you're in a position where you're not ever gonna hurt like this again and uh Options can be confusing. I get that. The outcome here is the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is about betrayal and conflict. Feeling utterly defeated. Why is that here? No, nope, one more. The Sun in Reverse. Any sadness that you feel in this connection, it's temporary. It's not forever. It's not fair either. I get that. The hermit in reverse. It's not fair. The justice in reverse. I know. I understand. It, it hurts, but that pain's temporary. It's not fair. I know. But any karma coming their way, you don't need to wish it on them. It's coming, okay? Anything that somebody's done to hurt you, they'll get there. So don't don't worry about it. Oh, they they've already moved on. That's fine. You let them move on. That don't mean they're happy. You just you you worry about you and yours. All right. You start you know getting yourself organized. So now, where you like to have your things in your house. There's dirty dishes in the sink. That's cool. They're your dirty dishes, right? Or not. They're not in the sink. Great. They're not anybody else's dirty dishes in the sink. You don't need to worry about it. I get, I'm getting something through about how this is a strategic moment in your life where you're sort of seeing how important loyalty is and this ending of this relationship is, is kind of a catalyst for you going hang on a minute that relationship's not really what i want it to be either that friendship you know my job's not what i want it to be where do i want to be in my life it's it, it starts you questioning your life and where you are and where you want to be and this is your new beginnings this is how it kind of dominoes 
into who you actually are and it, it I don't think that you've forgotten it's just you know I think you've been focused on a relationship for so long that you haven't really noticed and now you have options so you uh, you get to notice and figure out who you are and what you want let's pull you some oracle cards I'm going to take it into the extended after this I'm going to ask about them, how do they really feel about you, and some guidance from the universe. The energy is gaining momentum, so, you know, stuff's going to change. I have on my screen here a uh, cheat sheet for uh, runes. I'm just learning them now, so I've just got a cheat sheet up for now. I'm going to pull you a rune of the day. For your new beginnings. It's not got anything on it. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Anyone? Anyone in the comments below? What's a blank rune mean? Okay, we've got this one. What's that? Harvest. Alright, it's reversed. Fruition cannot be rushed. It's seasonal. So that's why the, the, the timing here was, was off for you. It's like saying, no, no. You just do this as you do it. Your new beginning's coming when it comes. Don't, you know, it can't be rushed. Come on, give us, give us a, a little bit of advice here. this one where is this one breakthrough growth ambition there you go nice changes there coming in for you new beginnings all right i'm going to take this into extended thank you for joining me see you later